The next step, let's replace this text with a reference to the lookup table. So apparel here, we want to have one, and wherever there's stationary, we want to have 11. I find it's best to edit this table, add an extra field, and let's um, a temporary field for now, and it wants to be a long. I'm going down here, I'm selecting a long integer. I, I always set the decimal places to zero, just my preference. Now if we save that table. Open it up again. We've got an extra field temp there. And we want to put the group value 1 in there. So if we do a query based on that table, I'm doing create query design select wedding list fire all these in there for the minute Let's see if we get what we're expecting and we also want to see the lookup table so show a table of that one now the items that are the same is the group so if we place that there it links the two together now if we bung that ID there and run it again do we see what we want we expect to see apparel is one ceremony two and eleven was stationary that's fine so it's linking together as we'd expect. Now all we need to do is populate this temporary field with that one. So we change this query from a select query at the moment it's a select query we change it to an update query and now we want to update this row here so if I go down to build then I select tables and we've got the X X table and I want to update it to the ID so I press OK if I run that query I'm about to update 126 rows looks like that's about right now we change back to a select query and run it again and what have we got in our temporary field we've got the one we need so we can reverse this query now because now we know the temp field has got a one in it if we link this ID to temp and put that field here okay so we change that to group now that to group get rid of that delete that join make a new join on temp and hopefully when we run it now we're returning apparel reception the correct so we know everything's working just check that we're linked to the temp field yes so now we can delete that field in fact this is a query we don't we don't need to keep it it's done its job okay I've got rid of that query and I'm going to open the wedding table and you can see the new temp field which really wants to be named group and we need to get rid of that group field so just go into the properties we can delete the yes and we change that to group in, in fact I've used sets 
So I'm going to change it to sets. It, it came in as a group. But if we use the terminology we're used to, then we should should be less confusion. Run it again. Now we don't have the word showing, we have the reference number to the lookup table. So that would be a good idea. Let's rename the lookup table. Rename table. Lookup 